Good afternoon, and welcome to episode 970, 30 more to the big thousand. Ooh, that sounds weird. Um, today I'm talking about something, actually had a conversation with a couple of people today, the same thing came up. So I thought it's relevant to speak about today because oftentimes my talks are inspired by what happened. Actually, frequently they are. So today the topic is on the theme of, or I should say, the, what I shared with them, which was like, oh, that's a good meme, I'll use that, is that they are only mistakes if you don't learn from them. Basically, if you learn from them, they're lessons, not mistakes, which can sound, sounds kind of obvious. So my question to you is, what do you choose? Because I'm going to speak about relationships, of course. That's my main, um, what's we're looking for? Arena, a topic. But, <coughs> excuse me, I tried choking on that idea. But it is relevant to think about this because we have a tendency as human beings, I'm not saying all of us, but most of us, of repeating mistakes. And the thing is, when you repeat them, they are mistakes if you don't learn from them. Now, to reference, let's see where I want to go with this one. I had a few thoughts off the top. Well, I mean, there's, there's the, there is the, um, um, well, the, it's attributed to Albert Einstein. The quote, basically, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again, expecting a different result. That, unfortunately, I don't think, I don't think, I'm not sure he said it or not, to be honest. I don't know if it's truly his authorship. However, the point is clear. That if you keep doing the same thing again and again and trying to get a different result without changing anything, that is pretty insane. And so the idea about not learning from the mistakes you make, it's in the same wheelhouse, or the same bucket, so to speak. What's it got to do with, you may be asking, what's this got to do with relationships? Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm comfortable for this one. Stay. Plus trying to attack me tonight. Um, the thing with relationships is we don't often review what happened. And I'm trying to make this as clinical as I can in a sense, is that we go through a relationship, we get, and then we go through a breakup, something falls apart, things don't work out, we end up in, in grief, bemoment, distress, upset, wounded feelings, etc., etc. If you are the one who is dumped usually, sometimes when you are the dump beat, dumper, you have the same feelings too, although for many people it's like, I'm free, I'm walking away, no problem. I hate those people. <laughs> joking but you know what I mean so when we go through that experience we don't tend to look back and see what didn't work in fact if anything we're looking for somebody to show up immediately to um, heal our wounds I was going to say like to sop up the blood from our wounds of our pouring out of, of hurt feelings and upset and broken heartedness and I'm not trying to be light with this but I'm trying to make the point I'm intending to make the point, excuse me, let me phrase my language in right, trying, Don't, there's no try, I do not try, there is, um, um, there's do, that was what Yoda said, I paraphrased it, so the thing about this is that many people are caught up in the paradigm of repeating the same thing because they don't know anything to do any different, and I've learned the lesson myself, I, to give, let me straight with the story from my own life, <laughs> I went through I've been through quite a few relationships. I've not been through any relationships for quite a while. As I shared with a friend of mine this morning, we were talking, and I've been away from a relationship for quite a while because I've been working on my work, focusing on my work, on my, my calling. But I did have a period of time where I went through three particular relationships, really, three relationships in particular. I've talked about this before, but in this context, I want to give it clarity. I went through three different relationships in a row. Yeah, they were back to back, where the same thing happened. Now, I'm just being clear about this. I wasn't a fast learner. It took me three times to figure this one out. <laughs> now, of course, for some people, that's a definitely a fast learning because some people spend years and 17 relationships trying to figure out what happened. This is the thing I want to give you the clarity on, is you can learn faster if you just watch what happened. So my experience, three relationships in a row, different women, um, different appearance, different attraction, but the same result happened every time. But it wasn't until the third time where I went, well, because she was blatant and showed me like the mirror to my face, like you, you're messing up here, that I got clarity about what I was doing wrong. Actually, not, and let me be more accurate. I gained clarity that something was wrong. What it was, I wasn't clear about. But something was definitely amiss. And that, thankfully, was the wake-up call I needed to say to myself, okay, something's off here, let me change things. I didn't know how at the time, but I, by having that... Um, request out, out to the world or the prayer to the spirit whatever you want to call that 
Within three months, I actually got the answer I needed. What you? Within three months, I had the path to the list, the answer I needed. Let's say that, which is what let me do this work. And to fill in the blanks, so you may be wondering what happened. Basically, I was out of alignment with my masculine heart. I didn't know what that was. I didn't. I didn't own it because I didn't know what it was. But when I started diving into the masculine and feminine polarity conversation, it was a world, a, an eye-opening and paradigm-shifting experience that changed my life and what drew me to this work. So we all have the opportunities in relationships, because I wanted to bring you into this conversation, of repeating the same thing again and again, wondering why we're not getting different results. The problem, I believe, is we don't look at those mistakes as lessons. We don't look at those mistakes as things we could change. We look at the mistakes as like, oh, it's done now, let's move on. It's a bad habit we have as human beings to not look at our past and review. You know, we have 2020 hindsight, and this is the 2020 year, but we don't look back at that with any sense of clarity or desire to change anything. For most of us, especially around relationships, we look back, back at our past um, <laughs> wreckage. <laughs> Let's find some words for this. The littering of all those past mistakes in relationships. We don't do anything about them. We just look at that and go, oh, that's a shame. We don't choose, I'm suggesting you do differently, to go look at that and say, okay, what was my role in that? How did I participate? Hey, Judy, nice to see you. And we get to look at that with clarity where we can start saying, okay, that's happened more than once. What, what's my role in that? What did I do? How did I participate where I didn't do things the way I wanted to, or didn't get what I wanted, or didn't have the relationship I wanted, or whatever that was? Most people are afraid looking at that, and that's a mistaken approach. Truly, the power we have when we choose, choose is a key word, to look at what happened and learn from it so we don't make the same mistake again, that's where growth happens. It's also where relationships can improve. Because a lot of people, I've watched this countless times, where people go through the same sort of relationship, either the same one for 20 years without changing, or 20 different relationships every year, I mean over 20 years, with the same thing happening every time because they don't choose to look at what happened and do something different. That's the default lazy path that repeats the mistakes again and again until you learn choose intend decide that you're going to learn from what happened before you won't be able to change your future seriously i mean okay let me say it this way many people are believers in luck <laughs> And they think that, well, it's like, I'm going to go out again on another date because it should change this time, shouldn't it? Like, who they're trying to convince, I don't know. But the reality is it won't change. You will not have a better relationship until you start figuring out what you did wrong before. Now, if you did everything perfect before, wonderful. But you're rare if you have. Because most people, um, simply put, aren't trained in relationships. Most of us have no clue. I didn't for a long time. I've become much better at that since I've learned the lessons and now teach what I teach have learned the lessons about how relationships work because we don't know ultimately how to do a relationship better until we learn to do things better. Make sense? Because this is the thing, that relationships are not looked upon as a learning thing, learning path. You know, some people may be in a work career where they're always learning better things and more stuff to become better and better at their job so they get promoted and get a high position. Why don't you apply it? Why won't people apply that understanding to relationships? Why wouldn't you want to learn more and more to have a better relationship, whether it's, with the, whether it's with the person you're with or somebody new if you're single? I am a firm believer that when we learn how to be a better person, we start creating better relationships. That's a one-to-one -one relationship, one-to-one -one ship, one-to-one -one understanding. If you're not getting that, then maybe you want to try something different. I'm, I'm I'd say fanatical, it's not the only word to use, but I'm passionate about people learning how to have more love in the life the right way. I was talking to somebody yesterday um, at Agape about asking what I do, and I said, really what I help people do is help them change their paradigm around relationships. How they learn to have a better relationship with themselves, love themselves and heal themselves so they can choose a better relationship in the world. That's all learning to do things differently, not making mistakes. I should say, not letting yourself choose mistakes. No, that's a better way of saying that. Hang on a second. Not, not labeling things that happen as mistakes, that's a good start, but labeling them as possibilities to learn from. We are 
We fall under the belief that when we finish school, we stop learning. That is so not true. And that's a big one right there, is the fact that when we go through school, which is academic training, not really human training, we believe that we learn everything we need to learn after we leave school and get a job. That's a sad approach. I'm also a firm believer that we're all, we can be, can be, lifelong learners, perpetual students, learning about life, about what's around us. Not talking about going to school programs or other things, but learning about life so that we can do better every day. And that's the power we have. But a lot of people don't take that, don't take um, advantage of that. Learning from what happens, to do things differently in the future, is a mistake, is, a, is a, an approach that we can all learn from. And I would venture to say that many countries could learn from too. Now, I'm speaking on the personal level, relationship level, but I'm sure on the country level, relationships between the countries, they haven't done the, the best to learn from their mistakes either. See, the thing is, they don't. when you learn from mistakes, they're no longer mistakes, they're lessons. That's the thing about this, is you don't have to let your mistakes lie around like wreckage in, in your past. If you made a mistake, what didn't you do the way you wanted to do it? Not necessarily what you did wrong, but what didn't you do right? It's a better way to focus it, because then you're focusing positive towards where you want to go. That shift, by the way, can be a whole paradigm shift. So learn that what you did happened without judgment, that it's possible to learn from it so you can do something different in the future. Again, what do you choose? It really is up to you to decide what it is, because frankly, um, it's, not up to anybody, it's not up to anybody else. It's all up to you. Oh dear, responsibility. Oh my God. This is my hint to you, my reminder, my nudge to you, that you can have the power. Now, if you want to get some guidance, I recommend getting support because sometimes you're like, where do I begin? What do I do? How, what, how, what is the lesson in this mistake that I happened? Whatever that is. Then I recommend you reach out for support and I volunteer myself for that. It's kind of my skill set to help you figure out what those mistakes were and then make them into lessons you can learn, grow, and become more success successful in all your relationships. Interested? <laughs> I'll put some links in the comments so you can check out some of the stuff I do, some of my offers and invitations because I teach from stuff I've learned. Sometimes the hard way, sometimes the easy way. But I've definitely learned from the mistakes I've made enough to know that I can help you be, make less mistakes and have more lessons that help you get where you want to go. You gotta be willing to take the choice though. So the question again is, what do you choose? I think I'll do it for today. So links will be in the comments. I've got some things I'm brewing and I'll put in there to give you something to check out, or check into, or sign up for, or to grab, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'm gonna ask you as a homework assignment. Yes, I'm gonna offer you a homework assignment is to consider for yourself what things you did in the past, what experience did you have in the past, in your past relationships particularly, where you have blame, judgment, guilt, resentment, labeling of a mistake. And then if you're aware of that, what could it be teaching you as a lesson that you can do differently going forward? If you can shift that piece in your understanding, your history, you'll change your life and your relationships for the better. You're welcome. And again, if you want some de deeper help with that, let me know. I can help you with that. And I'll put a link in the comments. You can reach out for a chat with me and most other things. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, by the way, in case you haven't seen me before. This is my 5 p.m. commitment to serve and to inspire. Um, I do this talk at 5, 5 p.m. specifically, specific, 5 p.m. specifically, Pacific time. I was <laughs> to transpose that. Um, it goes out live on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Join me live. It goes out every day. Sometimes the timing moves, but it is every day, seven days a week. Um, which is gonna be a lot of replays, I'll tell you about that in a moment. So you can watch me live at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook. The replays, as I mentioned, are on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, we can watch all my broadcasts, well, you can watch some of the broadcasts, you're welcome, Julie, thanks for watching. If I can help you, let me know. Um, and take those questions to heart, the homework assignment, I appreciate, I recommend you check that out for yourself. Um, Facebook doesn't show all my broadcasts though, so only about two or 300 are available on my business page for you to see. Because I guess the albums don't get expanded to a long way. I know that is. Hi, Judy. <laughs> I know you. I know it's your my agape sister. Good to see you. Um, so beyond my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby author, please like my page. I have a YouTube channel where I keep all my broadcasts safely, securely stored. So my YouTube channel is YouTube.com/user/BarrySelby. Um, please subscribe to my channel, and on that channel is a playlist called Messages for the Masculine, where all of these broadcasts live. The newest to oldest, all 970 of them. That'll keep you busy for a weekend at least. So if you want to binge watch them, go ahead. I don't recommend it. Well, maybe I do. 
I do invite you to check out titles that speak to you. This talk, each talk's about 15 minutes long, give or take. And if you watch a few of them, it might just change your life and your relationship experience. So with that, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me as always. This is my daily offering, my daily insight, and my daily um, inspirational chat to help you get more out of life. So thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.